This is Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Welcome back to our Salute to Veterans special. Now we believe that all veterans are exceptional, but in this week's Remembering Scorchy Taws, we meet one amazing Coast Guardsman who topped his list. Honoring the life and legacy of Scorchy Taws, thanks to Shorts Marine in Long Neck, Delaware. Shorts Marine, everything but the water. We try hard to never get carried away with our stories, but please grant us one plunge over the precipice. We recently met the most amazing Coast Guardsman in the world. Once uh, every year in the fall, take the old horse and cart or way any way you drag them up and cut pine bushes, myrtle bushes, and put on a protection bank around in front of the station. 89-year-old Harry Pennywell spent 26 years in the Coast Guard, a major chunk of it at North Beach Station, a ghost of the past on Assateague Island. He was there when the footprints of tourists were years in the future and the footprints of Indians had hardly vanished. He first came to Assateague in 1929. Stage of, I don't know, 41 or such a matter, and left and come back again in the 44 and left, come back again and retired during 50. Keen of mind and sharp of wit, Harry Pennywell is a treasure trove of early Coast Guard history. Now living in Alexandria, Virginia, he enjoys coming back for a visit and is quick to reminisce. He got up, eat your breakfast, fed the horse, swept the floors, polished the brass, and any other thing you had, swept the walks and any other thing you had to do before eight o'clock. Eight o'clock you had drills. Along with his grandson, seasonal park employee Bob Stevens, dressed in a period Coast Guard uniform, and Assateague National Seashore Superintendent Roger Rector, Harry Pennywell trod his path of memories. None have been forgotten, including the rescue boat launchings through the surf. There were memories of the storms, the drills, and the treasured 24 hours of liberty each week. The great surf fishing, the ponies, cattle, hogs, goats, and deer. The reverent recollection of his station mates, and oh, so much more. With two on what? Okay. One in the lookout, okay. and one walked to be. All in the magnificent memory of 89-year-old Harry Pennywell, the most amazing Coast Guardsman we've ever met. Scorchy Toes, wandering our Del Marvelous land for WBOC News. Remembering Scorchy Taws is presented by Shorts Marine, online at shortsmarine.com. Did you know that when displaying flags together in a military context, the order displays from the viewers left to right as the U.S. flag, followed by the Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, Space Force, and Coast Guard? Did you know that if the Coast Guard ever gets transferred to the Department of the Navy, their flag would precede the Air Force in that context? Now you do. Did You Know is sponsored by North Bay Marina. It's time to flip through the photo album and take a look at your latest pictures. Thanks to our friends at North Bay Marina. Bill Gore is back again to show off this bass he reeled in while doing some kayak fishing. Jamie Aswell of Pocomoke harvested his very first deer while bow hunting. An impressive nine-pointer for sure. And Ray Harper sent in a snapshot of the moonrise at Delaware Seashore State Park. Outdoors Delmarva viewer pictures are sponsored by North Bay Marina. And now it's time to check out the Mount of the Week. Brought to us by Longhorn Butcher and Taxidermy in Pittsville. This might be one of the biggest eight-pointers we've seen. It was harvested in Wacomico County. For all your butcher and taxidermy needs, contact Spencer at 410-422-3942. The Outdoors Delmarva Salute to Veterans Special. We'll be right back. 